from the Jensen Community Center. I am out in front of the Letty Jensen Library with the director, Kelly Bird. Um, so obviously for the last couple months, we've been um, ordered to stay at home. And for a while, the library did have to close, right? But you're, you've adjusted now and you're doing some sort of curbside service. Yeah, you want to talk a little bit about how you've adjusted, how you've changed things? Yes. When the first order came out from Governor Evers, of course, the library had to close. Um, nobody could come in um, or check any items out. Um, the second order that came out um, allowed libraries to specifically offer curbside service. Granted, there are stipulations that libraries still have to follow in order that curbside service. They had to have a limited number of people inside the library, meaning staff, that's going to be pulling the materials and stuff like that. But each library is different because of its size. Our small town library here, um, I've been able to make some adjustments. Um, first of all, um, limited hours still. I am here Mondays from 9 to noon and Wednesdays from 2 to 6 p.m. We can set appointments in to do curbside service. So what that would mean is you would have to call me in advance, um, tell me what items you are looking for, whether it's movies, magazines, or books. Um, I would pull those items, check them out for you, and then we would set up by what time you're going to pick them up. I would set them on the table right by the front door so that they're ready for you to pick up, just grab and go. Um, we are still taking materials back, so if you have any materials at home, um, or if you are checking out during the curbside service, the book drop is open at all times. You can return items to the library. We are going through the procedure of sanitizing the books that we can, that have the plastic covers on them. Um, if they're magazines or paperbacks, we do prefer to, we'll probably quarantine those for 72 hours, so we're not getting them wet. Um, and then we will check them back in. Um, there will be no fines incurred during this time that the pandemic is going on and that the library is closed. So we are making some adjustments to our procedures. And as things move on, we'll make those adjustments as needed as well. And I know, you know, when you first closed, I remember around Easter time, you had kind of a contest going on around here. So that was kind of fun. And speaking of, you know, contests and fun things, you typically do a summer reading program. So how is that going to look this summer? That is still in the works process. I'm still trying to determine what um, is going to work best for the library, for our community, um, what, um, if the order is going to be lifted. Um, so I'm still planning to do something for the summer reading program. I'm not sure what it will be or how involved it will be, but please stay tuned. I do have a Facebook page that you guys can stay up to date on if I announce any new information. And also, um, the website that we have is, uh, we have a link off the Village of Amherst website that you can check the events tab and stay up to date too on information that the library is doing to stay current. So, summer reading program will still happen. I'm not sure in what format it will happen, but please stay tuned. <laughs> If anyone has ideas, can they get them to you? Of course, of course. Them. On that website, um, you can email me. Um, the director at lwjlibrary.info is uh, my email. It's also on the website if you want to follow through with that. Um, the phone number is on the website, 715-824-5510. Um, you can leave a message on the answer machine. I will get back to you as soon as I'm back in the library. So yes, I'm open to suggestions and ideas on how this will best work for our community. We want to keep those kids reading throughout the summer, so that's important. I know right now they're still doing their school work and they have some books at home from school yet, but like I said, we don't want that summer slide to happen. We need to keep those kids reading throughout the summer. Yes, absolutely. And adults too. Have you been getting a lot of reading in? I'm trying. I did just finish a book, um, and I have another one sitting on my nightstand ready to go. i um, been watching movies with my kids a little bit more, and magazines and yeah. stuff like that, so we're enjoying the weather when we can get outside. Of yeah, it is getting nice. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for meeting with me today, and happy reading. Good luck with thank the you. summer program and everything. Thank you very much.